Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. I've been kind of doing these as like a chain of like, what is it, stream of consciousness, and I haven't really introduced myself to anyone who's new. We've gotten a few new subscribers, so hello, my name is Monica, I'm in my 30s. My husband and I live in North Jersey, I work from home, and we've been just dealing with life this year. <laughs> 2024 kind of hit us like a moving train and we're, we're still going through it. My main channel is going to be up here in the cards. It's all about makeup, project panning, black lipstick. But over here on the vlog channel, we chill and try to work through our compulsive need to be productive at all times. <laughs> so it's Sunday. Um, I'm actually going to try and I say I'm going to try to get easy today. I have only one project I really want to get done in the bathroom and I'm actually pretty excited about it because it's just a clean and reorganizing project. I bought these organizers from Target the other day and I really just want to pull everything out from under the sink, give it a nice clean, and then reorganize everything. And then that's it for today. Other than that, I just kind of want to chill in bed. I've got some short ribs marinating for dinner tonight. Very, very excited about that. Um, and I've already walked Rex. Oh, I might need to wash my hair later, but... That or I'll take a shower tomorrow morning. Leaning towards a shower in the morning. I just, I like showering in the morning more often. I didn't want to shower like this morning yet because I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning. So it is 12, I am starving, and I want to go ahead and make myself like a breakfast for lunch so I can meal prep breakfast for the week. And actually, this week should be nice because I'm only working three days. I'm off Thursday, Friday. Thursday, I'm attending an all-day virtual conference thing, so I can just sit in bed and watch the conference. It's going to be great. And then Friday, my grandma and I are going to go out shopping. We're going to hit Ikea and then maybe the Menlo Park Mall down in Edison, New Jersey. So we'll see how the week goes. Alright, I am going to enjoy my lunch. I got my breakfast ready for the week, which feels great. And I forgot, I gotta edit a video <laughs> for today for the main channel. So I'm gonna do that while I eat. And then later this afternoon, we'll get into the bathroom project. Alright, the video has been edited, it's been posted. I was a little bit behind on that, but we got it done. It's time to start in the bathroom. So before I even jump under the sink, which is the main, re like, the main place where I want to do like a full clean out, deep clean, reorganized, this little shelf right here desperately needs a dusting. I don't know if you can see, but oh boy, that is dust. <laughs> so I just want to pull everything off. I'm going to dust it from top to bottom so that, you know, I don't clean top to up and then have like the dust fall to the other shelves. But I want to just go through, take everything off, clean it, dust off the shelf itself. The one downside to black furniture is that dust shows off so easily, but I love black. <laughs> it looks so nice. But I also just want to take a mental inventory of everything that I have because the main reason we're doing this project is so that I can, at a glance, take a look under the sink and A, have all my cleaning supplies together. I have some cleaning supplies in here and some in the kitchen. I kind of want to put all the cleaning supplies in one spot, so we're going to do that. And then um, I want to have clear organization tubs so I can see what I have and what I need to buy. So let's get this dusted first. So this is a judgment-free zone. I've not cleaned under here in a while. So I just want to show you guys where we are starting with. So ta-da. This is the center. Um, we've got like Listerine. I've got some hydrogen peroxide. Oh, we do have Q-tips. I just bought more Q-tips and we touched. See, exactly why I'm doing that because I couldn't tell we had Q-tips. Um, but as I can see, we're using these Shop Massey crates, which I love these crates for storage, like more long-term storage, because in here I have to like lift this entire thing to get down to there. 
and it's, it's just not working in here and it's hard for me to tell what I have and now that I've been so busy we've been like doing a lot of like grocery delivery or like quickly jotting a list down so we can run out to the store and I've been dying buying bubbles bubbles <laughs> I've been buying doubles of things and um I just it's I feel like I'm not utilizing the space in here the best as I can so the goal is going to be to put some big organizers to I'm thinking I don't know if I want to I think I want to put the big organizers to the sides and then we'll put the lazy Susans in the middle so let me show you the organizers that we got first all right so I have these stackable containers that I found at Target I honestly did not think they were this big <laughs> I thought they were half the size and I thought that because they were only like 10 or 15 bucks each so <laughs> imagine my surprise when we got the order delivered and this is how big they were. So my goal was to get these stacked double in here. Um, I don't know if that's going to fit. So that's why I haven't taken off the tags or anything. I'm going to actually try to fit them in here before I remove anything because we might have to re return some of these because I got this one big drawer. I actually got two of this one that has like the two drawers in it because I thought this would be perfect for like lotions and maybe the um icy hot kind of things or shampoo or conditioner so I got two of these and then I picked up one that looks like this where it has like little drawers in it and then like I pictured this replacing right here in the front so I could easily get all of my tiger balm <laughs> and the uh little deodorants that i bought though that might go on a lazy susan or um like little small things that go under here so a they're more easily accessible so i don't have to like lift up a bunch of containers to get to them and b i could see all of them so i know what i'm running out of and what i need to buy so uh step one before we even look into uh actually fitting those i need to pull everything out of here and give underneath the sink a good clean because <laughs> I've pulled everything out of here I think like once or twice to reorganize and clean um, but it's been a while so again don't judge me it's gonna be a little nasty oh, and this lazy Susan needs to be clean too another body butter see I knew I need to do this <laughs> this is not just needed I had no idea I still had this this is a great day so happy they literally fit perfectly look at that I've got a little bit of clearance for the drawer so we've got the little mini drawers up top I've got the two drawers down here and then over on this side I put the two drawers and I was thinking of putting the lazy Susan with the cleaning supplies on top just because I don't think like in this small side of a drawer would the big drawer be able to fit anything but I think I have a way I can use that in the office instead so yay and i put that lazy susan on top i'm thinking cleaning supplies over there and then here would be kind of the stuff that was up front and in the back i've got room to stack up like you know the wipes containers or something else and then over here could be shampoo conditioner and then all of our little things so i'm gonna pull these back out take off all the tags and everything put everything back in and then i'll come back to show you guys the fun part where we get to reorganize everything
Man, it is finally done. I am so happy with how everything came out. Honestly, I'm gonna tweak a few things here and there when we run out of products, like the Tiger Balm and the um, Biofreeze. Normally, I would not have that much Biofreeze. I think we bought it on sale, like on Amazon a while ago, so we have like 10 of them. We normally don't have that many. So like I would probably move some more stuff into that drawer, like these um, reusable cotton rounds. I always have extras, so I would like to get them in the drawers once we have a little bit more space over there. But overall, this is so much better. I can actually see everything that we have at a glance. I can tell what I need to stock up on. I can tell what I have and then I can easily access everything. This is the best. <laughs> All right, it's a little early for it, but I wanna take Rex out for his second walk so I can jump in the shower and just wash my hair. I was thinking about doing it tomorrow morning, but I don't wanna do it tomorrow morning. I'll just take a quick shower and wash it tonight. And then while it air dries, I can lay my butt in bed, watch some YouTube, because I don't have to start dinner until like 6.30 and it's only four o'clock now. So I've got time. Let me throw my hair up. Just got hair all over my face. I need to wash my hair. All right, I put a hair mask in my hair. I actually used this Batiste leave-in hair mask, but I've noticed that this only really works if I leave my hair curly. Now when I'm leaving my hair straight and I'm like blowing it out, it doesn't work as a leave-in. So I'm just put a bunch of it in my hair just so I could use it up. I hate wasting product. So I'm gonna use it as a like a treatment mask and I'll wash it out in the shower. And then I had some like almost a full treatment of Olaplex number three left. So I just took a little bit of it and ran it through my brows just cause they've been a bit dry since um, I laminated them. And I want to take a little bit better care of them <laughs> moving forward. So I think I'll probably just do a little treatment like that. I might pick up a different brow oil, like an actual oil and not like a serum. Cause I use this one from The Ordinary, but I don't know if that's like really nourishing enough for like if I'm gonna start laminating them regularly. So if you use a brow oil, if you have any recommendations, let me know down below. Let's jump in the shower. Or no, not. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in the shower. You, I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> So my brows definitely feel a lot better after the Olaplex. So I think after I laminate my brows from now on, right after I will tint them and do an Olaplex treatment because they feel nice. They still look great. I'm going to go sit on my bed. Actually, I need to throw some product in my hair. I'm going to throw some product in my hair, let it air dry, sit in bed, do a foot mask, and then I'll make an easy dinner.
Uh, hello, it is Monday. I've actually been working already. It is, it's already 3.20 in the afternoon. So I have been hard at work. Um, thankfully, things have slowed down. I don't want to jinx anything. I'm going to knock on some wood. Things have slowed down a bit. <laughs> Today's actually been a really good day so far. I've got a lot done. I've got a lot done, not only like work-wise, but around the house. I did a couple of chores. I already put the dishes away. I've done some cleaning. So just feeling, you know, overall good, except I got like a little bit of a headache, but I know I'm PMSing. I'm supposed to start my period like this weekend. So I had a little bit of a headache. I took some Excedrin. Um, I'm hoping that I don't get a migraine this week because that would suck. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try not to push myself too hard. Like after work today, I'm gonna do yoga and not like my full cardio routine like I normally would. And I think that'll probably help. Um, and then dinner is just gonna be pasta because I've already got pasta sauce in the fridge that I made last week or the week before. Um, so easy dinner, get to bed early because I've noticed that my biggest PMS symptom that I ignored for so long is just exhaustion. <laughs> Like, if I get a full night of sleep and I still wake up exhausted, I know it's like, oh, okay, my period's gonna start soon. <laughs> and now that I recognize that, it's a lot easier to, uh, like, acknowledge the fact that I'm tired. Because I would just, I'm so much of a push through it, whatever kind of person. Um, but now I'm like, no, that is an actual symptom of PMS and I should do, like, relaxing things with it. <laughs> Because there have been a few times, or even in these vlogs, where if I'm feeling blah, I'll push myself and I'll do my full cardio and weightlifting, and then I feel worse. And I'm like, oh no, why do I feel worse? I worked out like, you know, like no shit. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm gonna buckle down, do another hour and a half. Yeah. Hour and a half of some work. We'll do some yoga, and then I'll make some dinner, and hopefully get to bed like real fucking early today. Because <laughs> I'm feeling it. So I'm done with work and I was just listening to music for like the last hour and I just felt like I really wanted to dance. So what are just some dance workouts? I just found out the fitness marshal posts some of his older workouts on YouTube. I thought he only posted them through the Peloton app. So I want to do this bury a friend one. And then I found this TikTok dance workout and also the yes and Ariana Grande dance workout. So I want to do those. Good morning. It is the next day and I slept so good last night. We got to bed at like around nine, <laughs> which is great. I passed right out. I got like eight and a half hours of sleep. I feel really good. You know, yesterday overall, other than being pretty tired, it was a pretty decent day. <sighs> so today it's already 814. I was hoping to have a little bit of time to film a quick video for the main channel, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that. I'm trying to split up my filming more often because like other than the vlogs from a main channel, I would really only film and do everything on Sundays. And previously with my old schedule that used to work out pretty well, I'd have plenty of time to do all my YouTube stuff. But now like I'm pushing so much stuff to Sunday and then I'm spending all Sunday, you know, working essentially. So I'm trying to spread it out throughout the week a little bit more. Um, and one way to do that is to film right after I do my makeup and before I start working. But today I think I'm a little late to do that. So I'm just gonna do a quick makeup look. And um, I believe Sam Vey just came out with a new vlog. I love her vlogs. So I'm gonna put that on and do some makeup. <sighs> All right, my makeup is done except for mascara. I'm waiting for the, it's not dry yet, the brow gel I put on my lower lashes to dry before I put my mascara on. Cause I'm testing out that hack that if you put brow gel on your lower lashes, your mascara won't transfer. I tried it yesterday and it worked. I didn't see any transfer at all, but I was also testing a new mascara. So I have this mascara from Shop Masse that I really like, but it does transfer a little bit when I don't set my um, 
under eyes with powder so i think this is going to be the true test today trying that out um i desperately need to wash my hair so it, it's already nine i've already started checking my emails and stuff um but i don't have any meetings until this afternoon what i did is i tested out or not tested out but i have this old hair oil that i think i got in a subscription box or something but i hate kind of wasting products so i tried every single way i could to make that product work for me and it did not i just washed my hair and it looks dirtier <laughs> than when it did before i washed it so um i just need to wash everything out of my hair at this point and I think I'm just gonna leave it curly because I don't want to blow dry it again so I might just wash my hair real quick scrunch up some product into it and then just let it dry because I feel like if I let it dry until the afternoon it'll probably be mostly dry by the time I have meetings later so I'm going to work for a little bit and then go wash my hair JK I forgot I put my new like cooling blanket in here to dry and I don't feel like moving it because it is pretty wet I'm not allowed to dry this at all because of the material that it is um so I'm just gonna wash my hair in the sink and then I'll just blow dry it because in order for me to really get in there and like do a nice curly routine I would need the tub and I'm not gonna move this so I'm just gonna wash my hair in the sink all right, I 100% should have done this before I did my makeup, but I totally just was not thinking. I wiped up, I wiped off most of the makeup from my forehead. So I'm just gonna take whatever product is left on my uh, brush from this morning and just fill that back in. Thankfully it was just that and I didn't put mascara on yet because I feel like that would have been a mess. And I only got a little spot here on my cheek wet, but I feel like it's not super noticeable. There we go. You know, I do feel like that's a one big advantage of just leaving your makeup not set with powder. If this was set with powder, this would not have been able to like be fixed this easily. I would have had to like wipe off the rest of my forehead and go back in and do this, but that was pretty easy fix. Um, and since I am gonna blow dry this out, I'm just gonna leave it in the towel for a little bit and then take it out and let it air dry until lunch. And then depending on the weather, we got a snow alert for today it's like i'm filming this the week after st patrick's day so i thought we were done with snow for the year um but if it does rain or snow we'll be staying in so i'll use my lunch time to blow dry my hair play with rex for a little bit and get something to eat there we go all better All right, so my hair is dry. It definitely still feels a little oily. I'm gonna have to do like a really deep clarifying, like clean shampoo treatment this weekend, but it's definitely a lot better than it was because my hair was so like stringy, like it looked oily and wet and gross. And at least now this looks presentable, right? <laughs> All right, I am now going to swap the laundry real quick. And then, <sighs> what time is it? Okay, I gotta take Rex out before my next meeting. So I know working out and your makeup is bad. I try not to do it that often, but it's the only way I could really like test makeup anymore because I work from home and I don't go anywhere. Anyway, um, the hack about brow gel and the lower lash line 100% works. Amazing. I haven't had any transfer at all. And I know this is a mascara that I liked, but it did transfer. And I didn't set my, um, what's the word, concealer? <laughs> I didn't set my concealer with powder or anything. A 10 out of 10. Okay, so I'm currently editing this video and I realized I just kind of stopped filming after Wednesday, which is the last clip that you saw, and then I picked up on my shopping trip on Friday. So we finished filming on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday I was off work, so Thursday I spent all day at home listening to that conference, that virtual conference that I was on, and I took care of a lot of stuff around the house so I wouldn't have to do it over the weekend. And then Friday I went out shopping with my grandmother, so please enjoy the shopping montage. And also, as a heads up, on my main channel, um, like this week I just announced a no-buy. I'm like a month behind on vlogs, so this was filmed a month ago, so I did not break my no-buy. This is from like April.
<laughs> it actually came out really cute. <laughs> Do you like your tent? It's, it's almost done. You better not go back to your room. Rex, come here. Look at your tent! Get in there! <gasps> Do you like it? <laughs> Rex, go get, throw a toy in there. Do you like it? Are you cozy? <laughs> <laughs> Where would this go? Oh, I don't know. I just got it because it was cute and I thought he would have fun with it. And in if he didn't between, like it, then we could fold it up. <laughs> in the in between? I don't know. Look, he took your yurt. Go, go in your yurt. <laughs> it was in here for the ghosts. For the ghost. Lay down. Can you please go in your yurt? <laughs> I got in. I knew you would. You did it. You're in the yurt. Congratulations. Rex, you want to go in with your dad? No, you just want to play with the fucking ghosty again. <laughs> What? I would think there would be a like a tiny little loop in here. Well, it's for kids, so no. What is it? The house that had your legs, Baba Yaga. Yes. <laughs>